Hey guys, this is Sean from SeanHunter.com and in this video we are going to perform a detailed gaming review of HTC Bolt a smartphone and we will be playing few of the most high-end games like Spotted Airborne, Spider-Man, Temple Run 2, Nova 3, etc. to see that how good this device is going to perform when we are playing some high-end and heavy graphics game like this and uh, HTC Bolt it comes with Qualcomm Snapdragon 810 processor, 3 GB of RAM, Adreno 430 GPU and a 5.5 inch WQHD screen. So let's see, play these games and let's see that how good this device is going to perform with the help of all these hardware specs when we are playing few of the most high-end games on it. So let's just start it. First of all, let's play Asphalt at Airborne, which is one of the most popular racing game currently available. So the sound is really loud. Okay, so one problem that I'm facing in the very beginning of this game is that uh, the position of the speakers is uh, uh, in a way that my palm is covering them when I'm holding the device in horizontal position like this for playing a sport at airborne. So you can see that the sound is just not audible most of the time because my palm is covering it and when I'm removing my hand from the speakers then the sound is coming when the sound is coming it's so loud and so clear it's really great in quality but I need to hold the device in a manner that my hands are away from the speakers So this is causing me slight uh, discomfort you can say because I am not holding the device in my usual manner. So you can see that the graphics quality is brilliant there is no lagging or frame drops of any kind and the touch screen sensitivity and the performance of the sensors are so nice as well when we are playing the asphalt that we are born on our HTC bolt here ok so I just read my car so let's go back and play some other game because the performance of HTC Bolt was really very nice on Asphalt 8 Airborne. So now let's play Nova 3. Fulsome's death should have marked the Dominion's demise. But so after you can see that the sound quality is really very nice the boom sound on our HTC Bolt is performing really very nice the only problem is with the position of the speaker it would be great if it was at the top so Nova 3 is a 3D graphics game so we will be getting the idea of how good HTC Bolt's GPU is performing while playing a high-end 3D graphics game like Nova 3.
So I'm facing this very same issue here as well that my palm is covering the speakers. You can see when the palm is away from the speaker, the sound is really very loud and clear, but most of the time the palm is just covering the speakers. But the gaming performance is so nice. The graphics quality is really brilliant on HTC Bolt here, as you can see, and there is no lagging or frame drops. Everything is so nice and smooth. I'm dead here, but you can see that the performance of HTC Bolt was really very nice when we were playing the Nova 3. It was a 3D graphics game and everything was so nice and smooth while playing it. Let's play it once again and let me give you an idea of the 3D graphics rendering, how smooth it is when we are playing the Nova 3 and just changing the camera angle you can see everything is so nice there is no frame drop or any lagging when I'm moving my thumb on the screen to change the camera angle so it's really very nice so now let's go and play some other game now let's play Spider-Man So Spider-Man is also a 3D graphics game so you will be getting the idea that how good is the graphics quality of HTC Bolt. So as you can see that the sound quality is always so nice on HTC Bolt. It's so loud, so clear and the quality is brilliant as well. So now let's play the game. You can see once again when I'm holding the uh, device in this position, my palm is covering the speakers and the sound is getting videos. There was a slight frame drop at one position I felt. But other than that, it's looking really, really nice and smooth while playing this amazing Spider Man. So you can see that everything is so nice. When I'm just trying to change the camera angle, the 3D camera. So everything is so nice and easy please please don't hurt me relax ma'am i'm a good guy thanks but So let me give you an idea of the 3D graphics rendering. You can see that how smoothly the camera angles are changing once again. And the amazing Spider-Man, it is a 3D graphics game. And you can see that 
how smooth is the gameplay and also the camera angle changing you can see that it's it's much more smoother than the nova 3 while playing the spider-man it's so smooth one trip to the street courtesy of your friendly neighborhood spider-man that was amazing is that how you only one behind the police will pre so now let's go back and uh, let's play Nova 3 once again. Okay, so what I'm trying to show you here is that uh, when I was playing the Nova 3, I didn't close the game properly and I just left the game in the middle and I started playing the Amazing Spider Man, which is also one of the most uh, high end games or heavy graphics game, you can say. So, and after playing the Amazing Spider-Man for a while, I came back to Nova 3 once again and you can see that the game is exactly where I have left it. So if you are a multitasker who likes to play uh, high-end games and also do some multitasking, then you can see that HTC Bolt is good for multitasking. So like you can play some high-end games and then you can do some stuff on some other application like taking pictures or just doing some social media stuff and after that you can come back and start playing the game once again and your game will be exactly where you have left it. So this is showing that the 3 GB RAM of HTC Bolt is working really fine. So now let's go back and play Thor The Dark World. It is once again also a 3D graphics game. you can see that the graphics quality is brilliant so nice and you can see that the 3d game and also in this the 3d graphics rendering is pretty smooth It's the same problem I'm facing in all of these games while holding the device in horizontal position that uh, my palm is covering the speakers and because of that sound is getting blocked sometimes but the graphics quality is so nice no frame drops no lagging and the 3D rendering is really nice.
So you can see that the gaming performance of HTC Bolt while playing Thor the War, the Dark World is really very nice. Uh, there was no frame drop or any lagging as we can see and the 3D graphics was really great as well. So now let's play Temple Run 2 which is also a very popular game and it is a game in portrait mode so we are not going to hold the device in horizontal position so the sound should not be interrupted and temple run needs good performance of sensors and the touch screen sensitivity to play it so let's play this game and let's see that how good our htc bolt is going to perform so here we go So you can see that everything is working so nice, so smoothly. Uh, it's just that I'm not a good player. So let's play it once again. So you can see that the sensors the perf are performing pretty nice in both direction. The touch screen sensitivity is good as well. Its responsiveness is nice. So if you are going to play a game like Temple Run 2 or uh, the Subway Surfers, those kind of games, so you will enjoy it playing on your HTC Bolt for sure. Here I go once again. So you can see I am not so good in playing this game. But still the performance of HTC Bolt was nice and now let's play the last game for today that's FIFA 16. Especially I'm not good in this game, <laughs> but let me give you an example of the gaming performance of HTC Bolt. So here we go with FIFA 16. So you can see that the gameplay is so smooth. So everything is so nice and smooth and just trying to figure it out that how to play this game perfectly just to give you an idea that how good is the performance of how good is the performance of our HTC Bolt while playing FIFA 16 and it's looking pretty good sometimes there is a slight lagging you can say but maybe it's because uh, of the fact that most of the games that I was playing I didn't close them properly they are still running in the background. So 
other than that everything is looking so nice and smooth on HTC Bolt so this is all about the gaming performance of HTC Bolt here and uh, okay so you could see that when I try to close the FIFA 16 just now the game was uh, uh, stuck for a while and then when the home screen came there was a black wallpaper black screen is instead of this the wallpaper and it took like half second uh, for this wallpaper to appear so you can see that the RAM was consumed heavily and that was caused issue because most of these games that I was playing they are still running in the background so you can see there are six games running in the background I didn't close them properly but still there was not much performance issue when I was playing and moving from one game to another but uh, one issue I'm facing that right now is that uh, on the back here this portion is quite warm after playing these games around like 15-20 minutes and uh, maybe the reason is the full metal body of this device and because of that the back is pretty much warm and uh, the screen is slightly warm not much with respect to the back of the device and uh, another problem that we faced is is the position of the speaker the audio output is of top quality but the position of the speaker is uh, in a way that when I'm playing the game my palm is covering the speakers so if you play a game like this or something so it's good for you but uh, in my case I was holding the device like this and it was covering the sound most of the time other than that everything was so perfect there was no frame drops no lagging and the graphics quality especially the 3d graphics rendering is so nice on HTC Bolt so the performance of this device is so nice and if you are a gamer you would love the giving experience on HTC Bolt. So thanks for watching the video friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos, tips and tricks and some videos like this. Have a nice day.